welcome students in this video we will try to complete the practical number 4c that is creating a registration and login jsp application to register and authenticate the user based on username and password using jdbs now for completing this practical you need to have one table and one database in mysql already we had completed and created one database named as bscit and one table named as registration now how i had created this database how i had created this table please view the practical number 1c video you will come to know how this particular table and database has been created i am using the same table for this program also now i am creating my new project by going to the file selecting new project java web web application given the name of this practical as practical 4c and given click on next any server you can select no framework need to be selected give a click on finish so you one project got created as we are using the mysql for the sake of data connectivity what is needed we need to add up a jar file in our libraries first so go to the libraries go for add jar files and select the appropriate mysql jar file as per your mysql version watch the practical number policy you will come to know how to check the version also then give a click on okay still have a problem comment it out i will help you out to resolve the issues so first thing add it with the library of mysql now what i am interested this is the index.html i would like to create a login page over here and below the login page i am providing the option over here as the registration like sign up and sign in already had designed a small login form so this is what a login form designed by me which consist of a form method is post action is check login center mein align kiya hua hai ek chota sa table dala hua hai aur yahi form ko username password accept karne ka so i am adding it inside a body so html part is what been completed by us and below this uh, sign submit button so i will be trying to give a name and a value of this submit button as input type equal to submit and value equal to sign in and whereas here i am planning to provide one anchor tag which will be helping us to register so i am creating the anchor tag saying anchor href equal to register.html and i provide inside anchor tag new user so when the user clicks on this new user hyperlink they will be going to the register.html so i need to create the register.html also so i go to the project here i am going in the web pages given the right click selecting new and selecting over here html page which will be named as register so given the file name as register so register.html will be created and in the registration i am completing my registration form also so this is the registration form which has been created by us in a practical number 1c i am using the same registration form so i just copy this contained and paste in this contained of html uh further acha i am already going to give you the source code also might be from this particular video i am trying to add the source code in my description also or together one zip file is be created we are already creating the telegram channel in which we will be uploading entire source code for all of you so form method the action i will be providing over here as new registration or new user dot jsp so when the user clicks on a submit button of this form the data has been passed towards the file named as new user dot jsp on index dot html when the user clicks on a submit that is sign in the data that is t1 and p1 is been passed to the form action named as check login dot jsp so my task of designing is been completed i would like to first of all check a real design works properly or not so i give a click on the run file when you are running it for the first time it will take little bit of time because you need to start with a tomcat server so definitely a bit of the time is been taken once the server gets started our application got hosted on the server and the file named as index.html will be displayed the index.html will be displaying me username password and a sign in button as well as new user when i am trying to provide the username i am trying to provide the password over here if i give a click on a sign in i am going toward the check login.jsp whereas when i am going to give a click on a new user i am coming towards my register.html 
where I'm passing the username, passing the password, providing the email address. Uh, maybe I'm providing at redabc.com and uh, further I'm providing the country also. And when I give a click on a sign up, it is moving to the new user.jsp. So I need to create now new user.jsp as well as I need to complete the check login.jsp. So I'm interested first of all completing the task of registration of the user. So how can I create a JSP page over here? Quite easy. Give a right click on web pages, select the option new. Here you select the option at JSP. I had given the name of this JSP page as new user. So it will be creating new user.jsp. I had given a click on finish. So this is what my JSP page is all about. I had little bit explained about what is the JSP in my first JSP video. So please watch that particular video also. Now here I am interested in completing my registration process. So how to go for completing the registration process is nothing but adding those values as a new record inside the table. But when you would like to go for adding the values inside the table, you are interested in using the JDBC that is Java database connectivity and using the JDBC you need to provide the page import directive. So I am providing page import directive by providing java.sql.astray. So I will be using all the classes which are present inside the SQL package. चलो यहाँ तक तो सब कुछ अच्छे से हो गया। अबे next हम लोगों को क्या कर रहा है? JDBC का कोड कंप्लीट करना है, जो रिकॉर्ड को ऐड करेगा। और रिकॉर्ड ऐड करने के बाद में वापस रिडायरेक्ट करेगा index.html पे, जहाँ पे यूजर वापस एक बार लॉगिन करके टेस्ट कर सकता है। so here it comes, JDBC ka code hai, to exception generate kar sakta hai. So you need to provide a try catch. So I'm providing try catch, exception, ex. And here I'm planning to provide out.println, ex.get message. So if any error occurs, then that error must be displayed to me. So I can rectify those errors. Now what is needed in my JDBC program is first to go for creating uh, the connection. But for creating the connection, you have to go for loading and registering driver. How to go for loading and registering driver is simple. Aap dekho baba, pehle mene kya kiya tha? Yaha pe connector add kiya hua hai, jar file add kiya hua hai. Baas sare bachche logo jar file ko hi add di karte aur fir bolte kisar aapna connectivity hota nahi. So you need to go for including the MySQL jar file properly inside your library. So here I am writing class dot for name and then specifying which driver I am trying to add. Now this is the MySQL driver. I last time told you that if you are confused, don't get tension. You go to services, you go to the database string, you right click on the properties, you will get the driver here. That is called as com.mysql.jdbc.driver, D capital. Mein. So I am using the same thing by using class.forname com.mysql.jdbc.driver. Moving ahead, after loading and registering driver, the next step is what? establishing connection for establishing connection we are using the connection interface object name is con and the reference has been taken with the name of the class named as driver manager dot get connection here we need to pass three things one is the connection url second is the username of mysql third is the password of mysql and this is the database connectivity url Sir, this URL kahan se milega? I have told you that you don't need to do much by hand. You click on the services and right click on the properties. And here you can see the connection string. Up to your BSEIT, you can take this connection string, copy it and please try to paste it over here inside the get connection. Right? Once this task is what been completed. So connection is what been, object has been created. Now, object connection is created. So, next step is to create a statement. I have told you that there are three statements. One is a statement, the other is a prepared statement, the other is a callable statement. If you have a fixed query, for example, select asterisk from employee, then use statement class and statement interface. But if you have a dynamic query, for example, select asterisk from employee, where employee's salary is greater than something, that is something that is going to happen. तो डायनेमिक क्वेरी है तो वहां पे हम लोग क्या यूज करेंगे वहां पे हम लोग प्रिपेयर्ड स्टेटमेंट यूज करेंगे अभी हम लोग रिकॉर्ड ऐड करने वाले हैं और रिकॉर्ड ऐड करने वाले डायनेमिकली राइट सो प्रिफर्ड है कि हम लोग यहां पे यूज करेंगे अपना प्रिपेयर्ड स्टेटमेंट 
so i'd use prepared statement ps equal to con dot prepare statement and query likh dunga yahan pe apna query to simple hai insert ka kya likhta hai baba insert into table name kya tha registration values sabhi column mein values dalna tha the values question mark user name ke liye question mark password ke liye question mark email ke liye question mark country ke liye तो चारों कॉलम के लिए क्वेश्चन मार्क क्वेश्चन मार्क डाल दिया सेमी कॉलम डाल दिया एंड नाउ हर एक क्वेश्चन मार्क का वैल्यू पास करना कैसे पास करेंगे सिंपल पी एच डॉट सेट स्ट्रिंग पहला क्वेश्चन मार्क के यहां पर कुछ पास करना है पी एच डॉट सेट स्ट्रिंग सेकंड क्वेश्चन मार्क के यहां पे कुछ तो पास करना सर कुछ तो पास करना मतलब क्या पास करना रुको जरा हम लोग एक काम करते हैं चलो हम लोग चारों क्वेश्चन मार्क के लिए पी एच डॉट सेट स्ट्रिंग डाल देते हैं तो वन हो गया टू हो गया थ्री हो गया एंड फोर हो गया फिर हम लोग अपने रजिस्ट्रेशन पेज में जाते हैं देखो रहे बाबा यूजर नेम के लिए क्या है टेक्स्ट बॉक्स का नाम टी वन है बाद में टी टू है बाद में टी थ्री है बाद में टी फोर है तो बस वही तो करना है हम लोग को तो यहाँ पे हम लोग क्या लिखेंगे रिक्वेस्ट डॉट गेट पैरामीटर नाम क्या था रे टी वन और इसी पार्ट को मैं कॉपी करता हूं मेरे बाकी सब सेट स्ट्रिंग्स के अंदर और टी वन को डाल दिया यहाँ पे टी टू बाद में डाला टी थ्री बाद में डाला टी फोर तो चारों क्या हो गए मेरे वैल्यू सेट हो गए फिर अभी ये रिकॉर्ड ऐड करना है ऐड करना तो क्या लिखेंगे पी एस डॉट एग्जीक्यूट क्वेरी या फिर एग्जीक्यूट अपडेट वापस समझाता हूँ एग्जीक्यूट इज फॉर इंसर्ट अपडेट डिलीट सिलेक्ट सबके लिए एग्जीक्यूट क्वेरी इज मेजर यूज फॉर सिलेक्ट बिकॉज इट रिटर्न द रिजल्ट सेट एंड इंसर्ट अपडेट डिलीट के लिए आता है एग्जीक्यूट अपडेट और उसके बाद में रिकॉर्ड बराबर से ऐड हो गया तो कनेक्शन को क्लोज करो और उसके बाद में आपको करना क्या रहे हो बाबा वापस रिडायरेक्ट करना लॉगिन पेज में कैसे करोगे सिंपल रिस्पॉन्स डॉट सेंड रिडायरेक्ट और फिर आप लोकेशन डालो अपना लोकेशन क्या था लॉग इन पेज का इंडेक्स डॉट एच चलो मेरा टास्क तो हो गया देखते ही कि रजिस्ट्रेशन कंप्लीट हो रहा है कि नहीं हो रहा है तो मैं यहां पे आ गया रन कर लिया मेरा पेज को एड रन इन टू माई पर्टिकुलर पेज इट आस बी रजिस्ट्रेशन एड गॉन टू द न्यू यूजर सो वन साइड गो टू न्यू यूजर इट आस मी दूजर नेम एड गिवन यूजर नेम एज प्रणाली एज शी सेटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी पासवर्ड एड गिवन इट एज प्रणाली वन टू थ्री फोर ई मेल एड्रेस प्रणाली एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम कंट्री विच कंट्री यू लाइक प्रणाली इंडिया वाओ वेरी गुड तू तो यूएस जाने का बात कर दे अब इंडिया पसंद आ गया चलो साइन अप में क्लिक कर दिया इट गोज टू द रजिस्ट्रेशन एडिंग एंड अगेन जम बैक टूवर्ड द इंडेक्स डॉट एच टी एम एल देखते हैं कि प्रणाली का रिकॉर्ड सच में एड हुआ है कि नहीं एड हो गया तो मैं यहाँ पे आ गया और रजिस्ट्रेशन को राइट क्लिक कर दिया बोल दिया व्यू डेटा और यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो कि प्रणाली का रिकॉर्ड जो हमने एड किया था वो एड करके हो गया है so this is the first part which we had completed in this particular video where we are completing the registration part and now we would like to complete our authentication part but i am expecting that this video length is quite big so we will try to complete it in one more video where we are completing the authentication part so please stay tuned with us we are also conducting the offline lectures you can also come for the offline lectures uh, definitely for the fees has been charged बट आई डोंट टू इट हम लोग ये पूरा वेब सीरीज के साथ में स्टडी मटेरियल भी देने वाले हैं फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट में सो so, uh, मैं आपको रेफर कर दूंगा हमारा टेलीग्राम चैनल के लिए उसमें आप सब्सक्राइब हो सकते हैं या फिर हम लोगों का कुछ इन्विटेशन आपको आगे रहेगा तो प्लीज ट्राई टू गो फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू द टेलीग्राम चैनल एज वेल एज सब्सक्राइबिंग टू द यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक्स अलॉट